Breaking news tonight, a pedestrian is hit and killed by a car on Hull Street Road. I'm Deanna Albritton. Eric Phillips has the night off. 8 News reporter Ben Dennis is live in Chesterfield with more on why and how this is not the first deadly accident on this stretch of road. Ben. Well, Deanna, tonight we've established a disturbing trend. There have been at least three people who've been hit and killed on this very block since January of last year. This is the very dark 7000 block of Hull Street Road in North Chesterfield near Manchester Middle School. Now first, the latest on tonight's tragic accident. Chesterfield police tell us someone was driving a Kia Sorento eastbound just after 6 o'clock. They drove through the Turner Road intersection near the Exxon, 7-Eleven and Shell gas stations. At some point, they hit someone. That unidentified person was found dead on scene. The driver stayed and we're told is cooperating with investigators, but we don't know if the person killed was crossing the street, walking along the shoulder or in the road. Now, police also have not said who the driver is, how old they are and whether they were distracted or under the influence. Back to the bad history of this intersection. All three fatal crashes happened while it was dark. We'll be asking officials soon about their message about safety and pressing them if any of these tragedies could have been prevented and how to stop them from possibly happening again in the future. In North Chesterfield, Ben Dennis, 8 News. Thanks, Ben. And as you just heard Ben say, this is not the first deadly crash on that particular block of Holt Street Road. There have been two other incidents in less than two years. Back in July, a driver was heading westbound on the road when they hit a bicyclist who was pronounced dead on the scene. 34 year old Michael Moore was charged with driving under the influence, DUI manslaughter and felony hit and run. And in January of 2020, a person was hit and killed while trying to cross Hull Street Road around 6 a.m. There, the driver did stay on scene and was treated for non life threatening injuries. 